we have the battery unmodded it has been open before so it will open easier than yours will but I'll show you where the tabs are, I'll show you where to aim for I'm just going to use a little knife to get in the edge start at the corner and carefully pop it out and again up at the top near the clip the same at the other side so I should do that and one at either side at the top be very careful because once you've done that in there see the board and then this part will pull off its I don't think I've had this one off yet no it is very very tight they use double sided tape it's quite strong there you go so good for them pulling it will come off I'll just do that to get it out of the way and then what you want to do in here is the third pin along on the top so that one right there that's your positive and down here under the pick this off under this yellow stuff whatever they put on it some type of glue or silicon or something I'm not sure see, I don't know if you can see if it focuses, it's solder, you solder onto there quite easily and that's your negative. And what I use is just a JST connector um, with a female adapter on it, so when that's plugged in like that your white one would be a positive on this occasion and you use your grey one for your negative you ignore the middle two, you can cut them off if you're doing it this way and just have your two so on your external battery, this one just for an example um, again in this, on this one your reds your positive and your blacks your negative uh, when that plugs in to your GST white positive to red positive and your grey negative to your black negative um, gauge your wire I wouldn't go any bigger than a, a 20 this one's I think 26 and these fit quite well um, because on the board you have to this soldering joint is going to be very delicate. I put a, a little dab of hot glue to keep the wires attached to the board. So when I drill a little hole through here on the case and pull it through, it doesn't pull the joints off here. Um, so when you drill your hole, you put your wires through, you solder them on, hot glue them, put it all back down the there's four LEDs here oh sorry there's four LEDs here um, you want to make sure that the wire goes between them your positive goes between them because if you don't when you go to put your board back down your LEDs won't line up with the little black rubber bit so when you press your button your lights look like they're not lighting up but they are and those lights just lighted up they lit up normally but because of the camera it shows like it's going in sequence but it's actually not 
so don't worry about that so when you've got all that done you've put it back down you've made sure it clicks and uh, and that the wire is not interfering with the switch you can just get your top piece hook it back in at the bottom end first and then just nip them both together it does go sometimes it takes a little bit of fiddling but not sure what I've done there ah. sorry my bad it's like I said it can be a little bit fiddly And this one, for whatever reason, doesn't want it to go back down. Try that again. There you go. Done.